Hi, welcome to Laravel Angular Material Starter's first screencast. Today we're going to learn how you can get started with this repository. So first of all I'm going to run the composer create project command and I'm going to show you how you can get to this. So after opening laravel-angular.io you can go to the github page and by the way we're running right now 3.0 so this might change a bit later on if we add a new version and you can go to the documentation here this will take you to, this will directly take you to the installation section and this is the command that we're running and if you notice this has automatically run uh, artisan has automatically generated the the app application key and the JWT key that we're going to use later on for JSON Web Token authentication. So after CD into the, this repository, I'm going to run npm install, and then I'm going to run Bower install. Of course, this is assuming that you have Gulp and Bower installed globally. Okay, so. Uh, Next, we need to edit the .env file. So I'm going to point, going to specify the correct database and the correct credentials. And then the next step would be to run the migration. So arts and migrate. And if you want to make sure that everything's correct, you can just run the tests. Great. So now I'm going to open my terminal multiplexer. And on the right, I'm going to run artisan serve so now we can navigate to localhost port 8000 and i'm going to run here gulp and gulp watch okay refresh one more time for the live reload to work okay great so this is the same application that we have on the demo so during today's screencast, we're going to add one more element to the header, which says register. And this register button will open a new page that has a new directive. So I'm going to open Sublime in this project. And let's navigate to the routes.js because we want to see how can we get to the headers, header page. So all pages are extending from this state, which is the app state and we notice that we have the header view. So we can go to header.html and I'm going to create a new link for the registration. And we can link it using UI as ref, so app to app.register. And by the way, I'm also going to link the logo to app.landing. If you want to see app.landing, it's right here. So this is, of course, using UI router. Okay, great. So now we need to create the page. So artisan, using artisan Angular generator. So artisan ng feature, which is going to create a new page register. And uh, so inside this register.html, because we want to prepare ourselves for Angular 2 out and we want to follow best practices, I'm going to create a um, component. So actually this controller, I'm not going to use it. So let's say I can do here h2 register form and then inside it I can just type in register dash form. So now we need to create this component or this directive. So let's do artisan ng directive register form. Okay, so now there's an issue with the gulp watch. Right now, it doesn't pick up new files, so you have to manually restart it. So now with the register form generation, we have this template file, which is the HTML. We have the last file, and we have the definition. So this is the directive definition. You probably never need to change this. I'm just going to remove the attribute. I just want to use it as an element. And we have the common best practices here from John Papa's repository. Bind to controller and controller as. And finally, we have the directive. So for example, if I want to have 
a variable, let's say starter equals Laravel and Angular. Now in the view, if I want to use this, we can just say you are using vm.starter. Okay, great. So now I just need to fix one thing in register.html. Going to remove this and and add the register class. Okay, this is just something to fix the demo. Okay, so now we should probably have the registration page here. And the problem here is that we forgot to add it to the register to the routes. So we need to add a new state. So I can do dot state app dot register and then give it the correct URL, no data right now, and define the view. Okay, so there you go. This is the variable that you're using from the directive. This is the register.html page, and we can click on the logo to go back. So, Again, if you open the register.html, um, try to have components right here. Avoid having logic in your logic in your controllers. This is a good way to start your project. So create components that are reusable. These are directives that you can reuse in your project. See you soon in the next screencast.